Hello community, it's uh, Sandra Lemming here and it's been a long time since I've done anything to do with um, showing how to do things on Facebook or anything like that. Um, over the last couple of years, I've sort of left tutorials alone for Facebook because it's so much work. Right, so I mean, you can do a tutorial, it can be a great tutorial, you can upload it to YouTube, you can then do a blog post about it, put it on your website. But unfortunately, before the year's out, it will probably become obsolete because of the many changes that Facebook goes through just in a few months. So um, it takes a lot of work, right? So you have to be dedicated and you really have to just be focused on that one thing. So you can be continually updating your tutorials, your blog posts, and the information that you're sharing about Facebook. And because I don't actually have that amount of time to dedicate just to that process, I have left any tutorials alone to do with Facebook. Now, I'm doing this tutorial for the community because I've noticed that a lot of you guys are starting off wrong okay so um and you're getting yourselves into trouble for it so a lot of beginner members they're watching advanced facebook training in the linkedin and in the mentors dashboard and there's nothing wrong with that it's just you have to understand it's advanced training but the problem with that training is a lot of it is now out of date. So when you're watching the training modules, the dashboard you're looking at in the training video is completely different to the dashboard you're looking at of your own Facebook business page. And hence, here comes the problem with Facebook. Did you know that my dashboard will look different to the dashboard of somebody in the US. So even if I was doing this tutorial today and somebody in the US was watching it, their dashboard is probably going to look somewhat different to mine because one, there are different settings that you can set up for your Facebook business pages and two, they're in a different country. And so Facebook will display a different setup depending on what country you're in. Right. And I mean, this can pose a real problem for some countries like Slovenia and Germany and Russia. So even if the person speaks English and they're watching my video, their dashboard, they might not be able to even find some of the options on their dashboard because Facebook in that country may not have released those options. So because Facebook is a US based company, generally any um, new things that they're adding to options they're adding to the dashboards even if it's the personal account and the business account facebook will generally release it in the us first so a lot of the times the us citizens will actually get to um, trial these new options that facebook are adding um, or taking away either or right um, and then if it goes down okay with that um, group that test group so to speak so facebook uses countries right just like doctors use people in trials and laboratories use rats in trials facebook picks a select group of people in a particular region in a country and then they run um something on that per on that small group's facebook as a trial as a test Right. So I don't know how you feel about the fact that Facebook has that power over you and can lump you into a test subject sort of um, situation. But if you understand that that's what Facebook is and that's the power that ha Facebook has, well, then it may help you understand how to utilize Facebook a lot better. OK, so if you're watching my dashboard and you're watching this video as recently as I post it and your dashboard looks a little bit different, please know that I'm in Australia. I may not have the same options as you. I may be using a different type of template for my business page setup in comparison to you. So there will be, you know, there will be differences. You're just going to have to get over that and realize that not every tutorial that you watch on YouTube in this community or anywhere else is going to 
be a mirror reflection of what you see on your laptop, computer or mobile device. If you can't get over that issue, well, then you may as well just switch off now and just give up even trying to do anything online um, because, you know, you're being basically pedantic. Um, so just know that you have to be flexible. You're going to have to be flexible. So if I'm doing something and you can't see the option right there, maybe it's somewhere else and you may have to hunt around for it or leave it out. You know, may not you may not have that option, so you might just have to skip it right? So I will do the best I can, but I'm going to show the community and point out a couple of tips and tricks to do with Facebook, okay? Now, I have been on Facebook since 2012 as far as business is concerned. Um, posting business posts, creating business pages, um, learning how to do different things. Now, I have never, ever, ever, ever in my entire time on Facebook with my business pages, I've never ever had one of my advertising accounts shut down and I only have the one advertising account. So I've never had my advertising account suspended, shut down or anything like that where I've had to challenge Facebook and go, hey, can you have a look at this? It's never happened to me. To date, touch wood, right? Uh, but I'm expecting it to happen at some time in the near future because I have pushed the envelope and the boundaries quite a few times on some of my business pages, but I've gotten away with it. Now, that being said, I have, I have had ads rejected. So ads I have created and um, published and waited for approval from Facebook, I have had those ads rejected. Now, it's hard to cipher through the Facebook rejection phase because a lot of the times they just tell you you've broken the community guidelines. And so, you know, more often than not, you know, 99% of the time you have absolutely no clue what is wrong. Uh, when I get an ad rejected, I don't even bother submitting it again. I don't make changes to it, um, to that same ad. I just uh, turn it into a post on my page and then I go and create a new ad that is slightly different to that other ad. I look for inconsistencies like congruency, uh, link, was the link a bad link? Um, you know, did I breach the community guidelines somewhere? You know, where was I pushing the envelope? But I basically create a new ad. Um, and I, I usually, when I get an ad rejected, if it's an ad where I'm trying to build leads, the next ad I create, I do not create a lead generation ad, a sales ad or anything else. If I have an ad rejected, my very next ad is an engagement ad. So I'll find a nice quote, a cool picture. I'll put that quote on a picture. I'll post it on my page and I'll do an engagement ad. So I'm asking for people to like that particular post. I'll run that ad directly after the um, post that I tried to create the ad with. And what I also do is the um, post that was rejected, right, the ad that was rejected that I've turned into a post, I'll pin that to the top of the page just above the engagement ad that I'm running. So if people come to my page, if people see the engagement ad, like it and go, this is pretty cool, I might check out this page and they come to my page, the first post they're going to see is the post that I had that I was trying to make an ad but didn't work and I turned it into a post and I pinned it to the top of my page, okay? So that's one tip that you can do. Now, um, I'm going to show you the simplest way to run ads and it's worked for me time and time again. It's how I build my businesses on Facebook. Now, step one, number one, make sure you optim optimize your page. So make sure you have a clear image up the top here. Try not to have too much writing in this image if you can avoid it. Um, no dot coms, um, no uh, cheap promotions um, and try and keep the ad re the, the image relevant to your page the message of your page and your website okay um, from a emotional viewpoint or whatever when you post a picture as a um, you know up like this make sure you always put in a good description 
and you put a link to your website, right? Because this is important because if people click on this image, well, then they have some information to read. They have a date when the image was posted and then they can click on the link and go to your website at the same time. So make sure you do that. Um, it's important, right, for your cover photo. Now, you can do it with your profile pic as well. You can put in some information there um, about, your, you know, about yourself or whatever. Um, and then you can put a link to your website. Um, and that's, you know, that's another free way of doing things that you can do. You can also like it yourself if you want, okay? So when you do that, your profile picture and your cover photo, make sure you add those little bit of extra details. That's called optimizing your page. It's important to optimize your page. It shows Facebook that you actually care about your page and you care about the other free members and users of Facebook because you're trying to give them as much detail as possible. And that's important from a business page perspective as far as Facebook is concerned. So if you want to earn the trust of Facebook, you need to optimize your Facebook business page. Uh, when you're setting up your business page, make sure you also go through and do your about section and make sure this is filled out, you know, well, you know, make sure you have information about, you know, what you are, um, an address if you've got one, um, you know, opening and closing times if you run on a schedule. Um, if you're selling products, obviously, you'll have a price range. If you don't, just skip that. Make sure you've got a good quality website link with an S at the end of HTTPS. You don't have to put a phone number. Um, you can put an email address if you like. I've got my website email address there. Um, I typically re reply in a few, within a few hours. Then I've got a little bit of information about me, so make sure you put that there. Make sure you've got a little bit of additional information. If you have to f fill out the edit impressum, make sure you do that as well. Now, if you have to do a privacy policy page, I have linked this privacy policy page to my website. So if people were to come here and click on that, they would go over to this website here. To the privacy policy page of this particular website, right? Um, now this website used to be a great website in its time, but it needs a lot of um, needs a lot of work and a lot of TLC. I haven't been to it in late, so it needs some updating. You know, I need to change out the theme. I just need to basically refresh this website. But as you can see, it comes to here, the privacy policy, um, and they can learn more about me from this website, right? So that's called optimizing your Facebook business page. Uh, make sure in the settings and stuff, make sure you've added um, you know, your credit card details, your tax file number. If you have a registered business number, make sure you add that. Over here in Australia, it's called an ABN. Uh, we also have a registered business number as well, but to operate as a contractor or a business, you have to have an ABN. You know, I've got that installed in the settings area and so forth. So make sure you go through the page and make sure you go into your settings and make sure you fill out as much information as possible. It's important for your page. Then what you need to do is you need to go um, to your page itself and you need to, I'm just going to close that down, don't know why they keep doing that. You need to post some posts, right? Now, not all of these posts are mine. Some of these belong to other people. I don't care, right? That shows my fan base that I care about bringing them the information that I promised that I would I would share with them, right? So my message is to help small business people, right, in the digital space. That's, that's my message. That's my clear, simple message with this business page and the website. And so that's what I do when other people create good blog posts about different things. I'll post them here on my page. So not every one of these posts is about me. It's not all about my website. It's not buy this, buy this. I'm not shoving, you know, sell, sell, sell in people's faces because on Facebook, people do not buy. They're not in the mood to buy on Facebook. So you have to be careful what you shove in their face. Nobody likes disgusting medicine shoved in their mouth and shoved down their throat, right? So think about that before you run your ad. Don't, you know, don't shove an ad there and think, 
you know, a, a, a lead capture ad and say, you know, sign up here to get these videos or sign up here to go to this free webinar. You know, all I want is your email address. Sign up here. Don't do that, right? Just don't do that on Facebook because it's going to fail big time, right? You might, you might have a fantastic image. You might get a lot of views, but nobody's going to sign up. Not one person is going to sign up. So if you create the ad the wrong way, you will, you know, it, 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 you, you might get a lot of likes because you might have a good picture, but you won't get the end goal that you want, right? So you've got to be careful. You've got to give them a reason. They're going to, they're going to think that they're getting something if they sign up to your offer. They need to know what they're getting if they sign up to your offer. What are you doing for them, right? Um, and I share information about Google and stuff. So make sure before you even start doing paid ads on your page, make sure you've shared quite a lot of information on your page. Sit there for a week solid, posting information, posting your information, good quality pictures, quotes from people, um, blog posts from your own website, blog posts from other people's websites that's relevant to your message. Make sure you have your page populated. If you don't have your page populated, you are never going to get off the ground with a Facebook ad. It's just not going to happen for you because one, Facebook doesn't know what the hell your page is about. They don't know what sort of value you're giving to their members and they're giving you access, don't forget. Yes, you are paying for it, but they're giving you access to you know over, over a billion users, right? There's not too many... You know, there's not too many indexes out there that will give you access to a billion plus um, people, p possible leads, for as little as $3 a day. So don't forget that. Right? This is Facebook have been the ones that have mined all of these people and brought them all together in the one place. And you can pay as little as 3 bucks a day to run an ad to get this ad in front of some of those people. So don't, you know, don't forget that that's a privilege to be able to advertise on Facebook. So understand what their community guidelines are. Understand what their advertising guidelines are. Learn about Facebook. Optimize your business page. Put things of value on your business page. Make sure it's visible. Make sure people can see it, right? Not everything has to be a sale. Not everything has to be a sell, 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 sell. You know, you can also share good quality information, right? Now, for a beginner, this is the way I suggest that you start out on Facebook. One, if you're trying to, um, I'm going to, I'm going to sort of show a little bit of an ad that can be both an appealing engagement type ad plus a possible and I say that loosely, possibly a lead generation ad. Now, I don't go into the biz, I don't go into the advertising manager of Facebook very often. Um, I hardly ever use it. I have gotten most of my success from using Boost Post. Now, there's going to be people out there in the community that are going to challenge me on that. They're going to say to you, oh, no, boost post, never use it, don't use it. But there are a lot of smart advertisers out there who use boost post all the time. And they are making millions out of Facebook just using boost post. So don't discount boosting a post. Yes, I mean, many, many years ago when it's first released, it might have been crappy. But now you can go into a boost post and you can set up the same type of targeting parameters that you can by using Ads Manager. The only thing you can't do about with a boost post is run what's called a dark ad. And I'm not going to get into that because that's an advanced advertising technique. Right. So let's just say you want to run an ad on your Facebook business page. Um, if you can't boost a post, that's because you don't have anybody who likes your page. So when you created a page on Facebook, you're going to need to 
get people to like the page, right? One way or another, you're going to have to get people to like your page, right? It does not matter how you do it, but you need likes on your page. So you can open up things, right? Facebook is a bit like that, okay? They give you what they call incentives. So as you get this many likes, you get given this new option. When you get this many likes, you get given this new option. And I think for boosting a post, I think, I'm not sure if you can do that from the get-go, um, but I think I vaguely remember you had to have something like 30 likes on your page to be able to boost a post. Um, but, you know, they could have they could have thrown that out just because, you know, they wanted more money. Um, so I very rarely go into the ad centre, right? I very rarely go into ad centre. What I do to create an ad is I think about the ad. Now, I'm going to show you something, all right? So I have this website here, okay? All right, this website. I have the mini site there, right? And in the simple lead capture inside of the mentors dashboard, so I came here and I clicked on open tool and I come in here. I have the new mini site. I have the old mini site, but I have the new mini site here, right? New mini site is there. This here is just a duplicate page of the new mini site page that I was just playing around with it to see how many edits I could make, right? So I didn't edit the master. I edited, I just duplicated the page, right? I clicked here and duplicated it, right? Duplicate page. That was it. So I called it landing page one. And that's what I fool around with. I go in there, make edits and push the boundaries of the template to see what you can do, what you can't do um, when it comes to editing that particular page. Uh, but I also created a completely separate page called Coffee Shop Lifestyle. Um, and this is, I mean, this is a completely different page. And I'll, if I click on that, you'll get to see it, right? I created it in Simple Lee Capture. Right, and here's the page, Coffee Shop Lifestyle, how to build a business that you can literally run from coffee shops around the world. Enter your email to access, um, enter your email for access to this free video series, right? Name, email, boom, yes, access now. And I added, you know, I added my privacy policy and my disclaimer from my website there, just like you do on the mini site, right? Just like you added the legal pages on the mini site, you can do that with this page here. Now, how I created this page inside of um, Simple Lee Capture was I uh, I went into um, I went into the dashboard and I went into View Pages. Oh, sorry, wrong one. I went into the dashboard. I didn't go into view pages. I clicked on add a new page, right? Add new page. So I clicked on add new page. And then I just scroll through these till I found a template. And I mean, clean living, this was the, I, I had a look at this template. I looked at that. That looked um, appealing to me, a nice cup of coffee, a laptop there. So I previewed the theme. And as you can see, I didn't have to do much work at all. So I didn't change anything on this theme, except all I did was added my legal pages down there and I kept everything else as is. I didn't have to come up with my own wording, nothing, nada. was all there for me. <laughs> so all I did was add my legal pages. Now, the thing you need to learn about me is I'm a bit lazy, right? Somebody else invented the wheel. Somebody else invented marketing. Somebody else invented foundations. So I'm happy to just um, use things that work. I'm very lazy. I won't put in hard work if I don't have to. If somebody else has created something that I can use for myself, I'll leverage that to the hilt and I'll use it, right? It's called leverage. It's really important. So the SFM and Simple Lee Capture created the perfect landing page for me. So I used it. I didn't have to change a thing. I could have changed these colors here if I wanted to, but, you know, quite frankly, they matched the coffee. So all I needed to do was put in my legal pages and I went with that. Um, and I did the same thing with uh, the thank you pages. Right, I thought, okay, I've created the uh, the landing page. Now I need a thank you page. I can't really use the mini site thank you page because that's just way too different to the actual landing page that I'm using. So I went into uh, the thank you pages.
and I scroll through the thank you pages and I found this one here. And I, I previewed it and I read this and I thought, oh, perfect. All I have to do is basically edit this section here, put my name in there, change that to 2020 and I can keep this here and then I can change the background image. So what I did was I selected that, I used that theme, right? So I used that theme. And let me go back into the dashboard and I'll show you what I come up with. So basically the thank you page ended up looking like, it's here somewhere, let me find it, uh, here. Coffee shop thank you page, there you go. See, it's the same Page, thanks, you signed up. The content is on the way. And see how I changed the information there to my own information, coffee shop lifestyle, free videos, um, you know, told them to check their inbox, change the date there, put my own name there, and voila, right? I think I even put a, a link there to a website that I've got, right? Um, and there's my thank you page. All right, fantastic, wonderful. Okay, um, now to use this on Facebook, I would have to actually go in and edit this thank you page, which I'm going to do with you guys right now. So I'm going to go to this here. I'm going to go to here and I'm going to reduce that to there. I'm going to go to there. And I'm going to copy that link there. I'm going to go back into Simple Lee Capture and I'm going to go to the coffee shop thank you page. I'm going to click on the pencil. So I've got to get everything congruent, okay? Right? Everything's got to be congruent. So I'm going to go to here and I'm going to edit that. So I'm going to put a space there for starters and I'm going to highlight that and I'm going to click on link and I'm going to go into there and I'm going to paste this link here and I'm going to open that in a new tab. No, actually, I won't open. Yes, I, no, I won't open it in a new tab. Um, and then I'm going to insert link. Then I'm going to save page. Just click save again. All right, so that is done. So if I view this page now, and if I scroll down, I can see the space that I've put there. Uh, if I scroll over that, I can actually see it goes to the website that I want it to go to, um, that I'm going to be using in this ad. So that goes to the website that I need it to go to, which is great. Uh, I can click on that and show you. So see, there's the website. That's the links. So you've got to check your links, right? And I'm going to be running the ad from this website, right? It's going to be using this domain name. So I needed that particular thank you page to have the correct domain name in there. And that is correct. So now all I need to do is check the um, landing page, right? The, that I'm going to be using. And here it is here. I've imported those pages, right? So I used my, I went into my website. I used Simple Lee Capture. I went to here and I clicked here and I found, you know, coffee shop pages, right? I found the coffee shop lifestyle page, imported that. And then I come in and I did the coffee shop thank you page. And as you can see, they've been imported here. So I've got the coffee shop landing page and the coffee shop thank you page. And I've got that thank you page installed on that landing page just like the process you did with the mini site right so I just need to check this page here 
And I just make, need to make sure that these privacy policies and disclaimers go to the website. Yes, they do. The, they go there. I can just click on that and show you. So these I have open in a new 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 window because I don't want them to lose the landing page if they haven't signed up yet and they happen to click on the legal pages first. So there you go. It's the same link now. So the thank you page, um, the landing page with the legal pages on it and the links for the pages are all coming from this domain here. So now that's all congruent for Facebook, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Facebook and I want to create a Facebook ad. So once I've done that, once I've cleared everything in here in Simple Lead Capture, made sure everything is congruent, right? And I've imported everything to my website through the Simple Lead Capture plugin, imported it. I'm going to go to Facebook and I'm going to create an ad. And basically what I did was I created an ad that looks very much like the, the landing page, okay? So here's the ad, right? Here's the ad. At the moment, it's just a post. It's just a post, free videos. Uh, I'll just get free videos that show how to build a business that you can literally run from coffee shops around the world. Now, gee, doesn't that sound familiar? And if we go here and have a look at this, it is virtually almost identical wording, right? And the image is the same. See, how to build a business that you can run, that you can literally run from coffee shops around the world. How to build a business that you can literally run from coffee shops around the world, right? Free videos show, right? Free videos that show how to build a business that you can literally run from coffee shops around the world, okay? So they know they're going to be signing up, right? I can even put up, put here, you know, um, sign up for free videos, right? But I'll see if I can get this ad through. And I've got the same image as the landing page, right? Same image as the landing page. Now I can put tracking on this landing page if I want, uh, but I'm not going to because this is, I know where I'm using it, okay? I don't, I don't really need the tracking. I know where I'm using it. Um, so what I can do with this is I can copy that URL because I'm going to need it. And I'm going to go to Facebook here. And I'm just going to close one of these tabs down. I'll close that tab there. And I can close simply capture down. Go to Facebook. So here's my post. I've created my post. It's been up for 35 minutes. Now I want to boost the post. So I'm just going to like the post first as my page. All right, see, so liked as my page. Then because I have a couple of other pages, you don't, but I do, I'm going to change this up and I'm going to like it as myself. You should always like your own page as yourself. Um, unless you're really scared about your family and friends finding out about your business page, then don't like it as yourself, which is a bit of a downfall. You're working from behind the eight ball. Uh, then I'm going to, uh, let me go get results down under. I'll like it as that page there. Go and click like. Okay, that'll do. Now I'm going to boost the post. All right, so I'm going to click on boost post. All right, so here we are. What results would you like from this post? Automatic. Let Facebook select the most relevant um, goal, goal based on your settings, right? Now, based on your settings. Now, if you click change here, right, get more website visitors, get more messages, get more engagement. Don't ever, 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 ever use the Facebook get more leads. Do not under any circumstance use this because if you use this, your leads will not go into your Aweber. They won't get the video series. And unless you're willing to pay the excruciating amount of money, which I think is about $240 a month for this particular app, software, 
that you link that you can link to this Facebook leads ad so that you can set it up so that the leads are directed into your Aweber, then do not use this ad group here. At all costs, avoid it. Do not use it. Just because it says get more leads, basically you're using a Facebook page. They will, they will honestly, they will funnel any crap um, lead to the, the form that they know that will sign up to the form. So Facebook will just divert a ton of crap to your ad. People that they know just automatically sign up. These people don't want your offer. They're just signing up because of it. it's Facebook. The lead won't go into your Aweber. So they're going to be signing up for an offer where they're told they're getting a video series or an automated webinar and they're going to get jack shit because um, they end in Facebook, right? So then you're going to have to transfer all of the leads from Facebook into Aweber manually. And then they're still not going to get the video series until you contact those manual leads with a separate email saying, thank you for signing up to my Facebook ad, my Facebook leads ad. Um, you know, I just would like to let you know that you've been moved over to my mailing list in Aweber. And if you would like the free videos that you signed up for in the ad, please click this link below and sign up and then confirm that that that's what you wanted, right? So you're going to have to put your lead through an excruciating process, right? So just avoid that one. Do not use it no matter what. If you want to get leads, you'd be better off get more website visitors because what you need to understand is any page that shows up on the internet, any page, even a lead capture page, it's a website page. They're all website pages, right? So go with get more visitors um, and if Facebook asks you to install a tracking pixel, well then that will be done on your website and on your actual um, landing page, right? Your simple lead capture page inside of the extras tab. There's a header script box where you can paste your Facebook tracking pixel, okay? Um, so, you know, that's what you can do. Get more engagement. These are really, really great ads to get engagement to your page. So if you're trying to get likes and you're trying to build up engagement on your page, these are really great if you find a nice background picture, put a really cool quote on it and then just post that as a post and you just run a nice little cheap ad at like say two bucks fifty, three bucks a day um, over a couple of weeks, you get a lot of engagement on that post. So people will see that post and when somebody likes that boost post, that engagement post that you're paying for, that you're paying $3 for, you'll be notified by Facebook and you'll be able to invite them to like your page. So don't discount a get more engagement ad for your Facebook business page. They can be such a beneficial ad because you can automatically send them an invite to like your page. So as soon as somebody clicks on an engagement ad, you get notified and bang, you can jump in there, send them an invite to like your page. And it works. Trust me, it works. I did it just that last week with another page of mine. Okay, get more messages, um, get more visitors, or you can go automatic right? You can just go automatic. If you were to go get more, more visitors, basically you would have to put tracking pixels and stuff onto your website, right? And I mean, that's not that hard to do. Um, but for this, this, I mean, this automatic one doesn't work that well. But just to get you started, either use get more engagement or automatic or um, get more visitors, you know, get more website visitors, right? So, I mean, I could save that. I would have to get the tracking pixel. I'd have to put it on my website, all sorts of stuff. But for this instance, just to get used to advertising, I'm probably going to run a automatic, right? I'm just going to leave it at automatic and I'm going to save. It won't work very well. I probably won't get any signups and that's okay. Now, I need a way for these people to click on this and get to the landing page, right? So, I'm going to add a button and I'm going to put, um, I'm going to put a sign up button on it, right? Just to be 100% clear with Facebook. 
Um, I'm going to put a new link in here. So I'm going to delete this link. It automatically defaults to your website link, but I'm going to remove this and I'm going to go like this. And I'm just going to wait. There you go, right? Sign up, right? Um, special ad category, um, ads about credit, employment, housing. No, we're not doing that. Audience, you can choose an audience. I'm going to select a very narrow audience. So I'm going to go all and I'm going to bump this up to say uh, 35. And I'm going to bring this down to say 50 or oh, 55. Um, locations, uh, I don't want to do Karagara Island, so I'm going to get rid of that. Um, I might just uh, pick, pick a location. So I might go um, United States. Let's go United States. Oh, no, I don't want to go United States. I want to go... Um, I just go Australia. Keep it at home. There we go. Alrighty, so there you go. And you can go through and you can pick more targeting and stuff. So if you come down here, right, you can do more targeting, right, um, down here if you want. Um, I'm not going to put any more of those there. So you scroll down here like this. So you've got detailed targeting. I can click browse here, suggested for you, digital marketing, social media, display advertising, um, household incomes, top 25, 50% of, remove that. Come down a bit further. Um, and I mean, you can go in there, right? So you can go in and browse. And you can type things in here, demographics and stuff. You can go financial. You can have a look in there. Interests, behaviors, more categories. So if I was to click on interests here, I could go, you know, business and industry, entertainment, family, relationship, fitness and wellness, food and drink, shopping and fashion. Um, scroll right down here. I've got, you know, sports and outdoors and technology, right? So, I mean, there's quite a few there that I go with. You know, I could go family and relationships if I wanted to, food and drink. Um, and I mean, you know, you've got in here, you've got alcoholic beverages, beverages, cooking, cuisine, restaurants. You know, you could go beverages, uh, you could go coffee, right? There we go. Um, and you could go... Um, have a look at restaurants, coffee houses. There we go. <laughs> right. Um, hobbies and activities. Um, and you can pick, right? You can pick what hobbies and activities, you know, people are doing. You know, you could go whatever hobbies and activities you want. You know, you could go arts and music, you know, current events, home and garden, Um and you can have a look, right? You just click on the down thing. You've got actors, crafts, dance, drawing, drums, fine art, painting, performing arts. So you've got all of these things here, writing, singing. Let's go with writers. Um, let's have a look at a few more here. Travel. So we've got adventure travel, air travel, beaches, car rentals, cuisines, ecotourism, hotels, lakes, mountains, nature, theme parks tourism vacations so you know let's go vacations here uh these are pretty you know i mean i probably shouldn't be collecting uh, even selecting these because of you know the whole fact that people can't travel but that's okay all right that's i'm just showing you where these are right um and i'm going to go back here and i'm going to go to behaviors you're going to have a quick look in there you can have a look at quick quick looks in here, see what's going on in here, mobile device users. So you can have a look in there, all, all mobile device brands, all mobile devices by operating systems, or you can just pick particular ones, right? 
So, you know, we'll go, um, we'll just click that, close that, right? Um, and close that up there, close that up there. Uh, digital activity, so you can have a look at that. Um, operating systems used, Canvas, console, Facebook uh, payment users for 30 days, Facebook payment users for 90 days, Facebook access older, um, you know, internet browsers used, you know, all of this sort of stuff, right? You can go through small business owners, um, you know, you tick on that. People who have visited Facebook for your people who have watched a rewards video on Facebook in the last 30 days, you know, might even go that one there. Expats, um, you know, tons of stuff, right? Demographics, you can go into demographics, you can go into financials if you want, right? Um, income, you can have a look at the income financials. So you can have a look at that. Um, you know, I mean, obviously they're US, but they're of no use to me. So I'm going to untick them. Um, uh, life, you know, life events, right? And go life events, anniversary, away for family, birthdays. Look at all of this sort of stuff in here, right? Work, I can go into work and have a look in work, right? Industries, I can go into industries, employers, job titles. All of this stuff is in here. Uh, you don't have to fill it all in. You know, this is this will, will all come down to your target market. I probably should have picked a target market before I went ahead with this. Um, so let's go arts, entertainment, sports and media, um, business and finance, management, military, protection services, transportation, veterans, legal affairs, food and restaurants. Let's go that as well. All right, so there's some pretty broad, weird sort of demographics that I've picked there. But hey, that's cool, right? We'll go with that. All right, so I'll go back. So there you go. There's my there's my demographics I've picked there. I can scroll down the page now. Um, and, I, and I mean, you get more advanced targeting in Ads Manager, but this is just the way to do your very first quick, easy ad and gives yourself some targeting, right? So I've got a pretty broad um, spectrum there. It's you know, potential reach of, you know, 4 million people. I would have liked to have brought that down a little bit more, but I'm not going to sit here and play around with the settings to bring it down a little bit more. I mean, I could if I wanted to bring it down a bit more here. Um, you know, I could target just a particular city here and bring the targeting right down. Um, so, I mean, I could go um, here. And I could go, um, let's go whew, Brisbane. Uh, Brisbane, Queensland, Australia. There we go. All righty. Plus 25 minutes. All right. I can expand that out a bit further. I'll take it out to 60 minutes. Okay, 50 minutes. There we go. There we go. So there you go. I've got it down to a smaller reach of people, 580,000, um, which is good. I can save that audience now. So, you know, once I'm happy with that, um, then I can select, you know, people who like uh, your page and their friends, people um, who like your page, uh, people in your local area or, you know, a custom audience. I'm just going to go there. And... Then down here, I'm going to set my limit. So you can run it for five days. I'm not going to run it for five days. I'm just going to run it for um, two days. I mean, they'll, they'll always do this. You don't have to worry about that sort of thing. Um, so I'm going to have an end date of the 15th. 
Um, I don't want to run a budget of $25. I just want to run a budget of 10 there we go, five bucks a day will do me. That will be fine. I'm just doing this to, to set up a, a cheap little ad just to show you, right? So um, Facebook Messenger, Instagram, there's my pixel. I've done that. Um, it's active. I mean, I can copy that pixel um, if I want. I'm going to get that pixel and put it on the landing page. I don't have to worry. Um, but there you go. I've got all my settings done. That's my ad. That's what it's going to look like. I can see all previews here of the ad. So I can see the ad on desktop right column. When that decides to load. <clears throat> so basically it may not load on this uh, video. This video is getting a little bit long, but you know, I can see it there. You can see what it looks like on Instagram. Then you can see what it looks like on Messenger. I'm just gonna close that because um, you know what that is there now. So that's closed. Um, and then I'm just going to boost the post. So I'm going to click boost now. And then I'm submitting the ad, right? So basically the ad is submitting um, to the robots, to the bots, to Facebook automated bots, right? Your ad is being created. We'll let you know if it meets our advertising policies within 24 hours or less. You can get an update, you can get updates in the ad center, right? So if this doesn't meet the advertising guidelines and they reject the ad, I will come back and I will let you know that. Um, I'm not going to go to the ad center now. If you've never posted an ad and you haven't bothered to read the advertising policies, I suggest you go ahead and go whilst you're waiting for your ad, your submitted ad, I suggest you go ahead and you go and read the Facebook advertising policies. These are very important. If you don't understand these advertising policies, you will and you can, well, you can get your page, your advertising account automatically suspended, right? So you need to understand this. You need to go to the advertising policies. You need to understand, right? Understanding our policies. You can even click learn more. You can even click account, poli uh, account quality, right? Common points of confusion to help you build a compliant and user-friendly ads experience. We've highlighted some common areas of confusion. Click the links below to learn more about each policy personal attributes, sexual suggestive content, Facebook brands, the ad review process, then you can go ahead and you can read this. What we consider during the ad review, we'll check your ad's image, text, targeting, and positioning. In addition to the content on your ad's landing page, right? In addition to the content on your ad's landing page. So if your landing page is not congruent with your ad, you're going to have a problem. You're going to have a problem. So if you're using picture of puppies, oh, puppies, I love puppies, to try and suck people in, and then people go to your mini site landing page where it's got, you know, sign up here, give me your life, you know, Stuart Ross, Stuart Ross, J. Cubersack, you know, build a business online, um, Facebook are going to say a big no, okay? That is why when I set up my ad, I made sure everything was congruent, okay? So it's in review, so I can close that now. I'm not going to go to the thing. It's been boosted. So I'm just going to close this off here because my ad is in review. Um, here's the ad, right? So this is why I made sure this was congruent. So I'm just going to close this. And, you know, um, I made sure that the ad, the picture of the ad matched the landing page. Right, here's the picture on the landing page. And the thank you page picture matches as well. I made sure the language here matched the language in my ad here, right? And I did not use the word you, right? I did not put that show you how to build, right? Because you 
more often than not will get your ad rejected. If you say to somebody, would you like to learn? Facebook will say, no, 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 no. We don't accept that. If you say, how would you like? What if you could? All of those things Facebook will say no to. They will reject straight away because you're creating, I don't know what Facebook call it, they call it something, but, you know, you're creating the, or generating the wrong type of interest for your ad, right? And because I'm giving away a free videos, I'm not saying you, right? I'm not saying you. I'm like free videos um, that show how, right? Not show you free videos that show how to build a business online, literally, right? And the language is the same here. There's no you here, right? There's no you here. <laughs> okay. Um, I think the only use I used was on the thank you page, but that's okay because I'm thanking you, right? So I think this is the only place I've used the word you, right, uh, was on the thank you page, right? Thanks, you are signed up. The content we promised you is on its way. So this is a little bit more personal and that's okay, right? So I was able to use, I can use those words here on the thank you page because I've already signed up for the offer, but I can't use that type of language on the landing page or in the ad because Facebook doesn't like that, right? Um, your ad may not be approved if the landing page content isn't fully functional. So they'll sign up, right? A lot of times the bots will try and sign up. Um, doesn't match the product or services promoted in your ad or doesn't fully comply with our advertising policies. Okay, so there's some ideas, right? So you can see here, here's the ad, here's the landing page. They want it to be the same. See, the picture is the same, the picture is the same, congruency. What happens after an ad review? Steps to take if disapproved. Um, you know, you can appeal the decision. Generally, I wouldn't appeal the decision. I would just leave the ad, make the ad a post, leave it run as a post, and then maybe create an engagement ad, right? Um, that just shows Facebook that you're listening to them, you're abiding by them. Yes, sir, three bags full, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Um, and then just create an engagement ad, you know, find a nice, <laughs> then go find a nice puppy picture and then find a nice cool quote about rainbows or, or love or something, you know, and put that over a nice puppy picture and then do an engagement ad, right? Um, boost, boost the post and pick engagement. Um, so there you go, discriminatory practices. They've got a big list here of what's safe, what's unsafe, what they um, accept and all that sort of stuff, right? Um, you know, and, and I mean, just go through, just go through this and see how you go. Anyway, it's almost been an hour since I've been talking about this Facebook. I promise you that this, um, this training or these tips I've gone over are probably going to be out of date within a couple of months. So if you watch this video three to six months down the track, the dashboard's probably going to be different. Things are probably going to be changed. Um, you know, so I, I, I don't know, you know, uh, just you might have to just, you know, if you're watching from a different country, you also might have to, you know, look at different things. So over here in Australia, I don't have to do the Impressium. So under the About section here, you know, I, you know, being an Australian person, I don't have to do the whole um, Edit Impressium. I don't have to do that. But in other countries, I do know that you have to do that. So, you know, you just have to make sure that you set up your business page properly, right? So set up your Facebook business page correctly first. Make sure you've got your credit card details attached to your Facebook business page. Make sure you've done your edit pressium. Make sure you've done your privacy policy. Make sure you've filled in all the information that you have to. Make sure you've attached some descriptions to the images that you've used. Any images that you've used and uploaded, make sure you attach descriptions to them so that you're showing Facebook that you care. You care about, you know, you care about your people. You care about, um, you know, them, you care about them knowing things and, and understanding what's going on with your page. Okay, so um, make sure you do all of that. Um, 
you know, any photo you do, you know, any photo that you do, make sure you put a description with it. Put some links in the photos so people, you know, people can see the links, right? Um, that's another way of free organic traffic. Uh, boost your post, right? And when it becomes available, it'll become available. Anyway, that's the end of this video. Um, I hope it's been helpful. Please don't reach out to me for more extensive advanced Facebook training. Um, you know, I do charge quite a lot of money for that like other people do. It is very time consuming and a lot of money is spent by people like myself, you know, getting high-end training um, and certifications and stuff to be able to teach other people or to run other people's Facebook business pages. So please don't reach out and ask me to help you with more advanced Facebook tactics unless you're willing to actually you know, front up with the, the money that it's going to cost. And it's not cheap. I will tell you that. It's not cheap. It will cost you. Um, but that's the price you pay for having somebody else do it for you rather than you learning and doing it yourself. Anyway, this is Sandra signing off community. I hope this, this video has been a help to you. I'm not going to put too much in the blog post, but I will share this video as a post and I will take it down when it becomes irrelevant. Okay, bye for now.